Oh, it's done. Okay, so okay, I'm be talking about it's Halloween, so we could have come up with an episode, but not one. We'll be talking about every horror movie we have ever watched. We're gonna give us a review, and yeah, the that's that's includes the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. What we watch it, and we'll give you a review every movie. So, well, um, the FNAF movie was really good. Sorry this wasn't a Halloween video, but, yeah. So, the FNAF movie had some good and bad moments. I did like the animatronics. They look really cool. Um, Bonnie was really amazing. So, yes, yeah, so I, I just ate dinner. Um, okay, um. Bonnie was good. Chica, Freddy, Foxy, whatever. They were nice. Um, uh, the Springlock scene could have been better, but I, but, you know, it's a PG-13 movie. But, yeah, it was... It was not better than the Super Mario Bros. movie, but it was better than the Banana Splits movie, because that movie... Just weird. Willy's Wonderland, it was fine. It didn't look like FNAF, but... It's still a movie, okay? So stop complaining in the comments. So I actually enjoyed the, um... The Halloween movie 2018. It was really good. Um, it was... It wasn't that bad, honestly. I thought it was gonna be scary, but it was scary. That scene with the Michael Myers goes like, da na 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 bro, he was really terrifying at the same time. Not to mention, um, they had three trilogies of the of this movie. H Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, and Halloween Ends suck, because seriously, there's barely anything. It takes almost, it's, 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 it's uh, it leads up to Michael Myers getting killed, which was, thank God, because he was actually a pretty hard serial killer. And yeah, it was. It, the 2018 got beaten by Avengers Endgame. Infinity War, I managed to pass away. Well, if you, if you, yeah, I lost it. I'm seeing you. But this movie was pretty good. I like the tone. Michael was scary. The, the, the ending when he got Sapphire, I thought it was gonna end it, but no. He came back in like. So it came out in 2021, Halloween Kills, and um. 20. It came out like four. It took them three years. Three years just to make another Halloween movie kill. Then it took them another year just to make the last one. Which was a flop in the box office. Alright, alright, this game was really stupid. Flop? Flop of my life? Cast by a... We need to put blood in honey. Psych, I hate that movie. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. I'm a fat. I'm a fat dragon face. Anyways, um, what's my favorite horror movie? The zombie movies. They're really fun. I'm trying to do some was really dark. I did like the tone though. It was really emotional how the kid lost his dad. I'm not sure if he heard because they, because I'm not trying to sound racist because they look like both genders. No, I'm not trying to sound racist. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just confused. I did like the train crash. It was really badass. Zombies were good. They were really funny. It was really emotional how um dad is a goodbye to the loved ones. And oh my god, I cried. The scene when the dad loses his daughter. Oh my god, I cried. Yeah, yeah. It was really emotional. <sighs> Who do you guys like at that movie? Oh yeah, the only big game time in Pennsylvania. That one, Pen... Pennsylvania, that 2020 movie. That one wasn't really that good, but definitely wasn't the best movie. And I was kind of confused if this is like a sequel or a reboot. Because it looked like a sequel, but it's at the same time, it's not. Because, well, it's a movie, but it's supposed to be like a sequel or something. It doesn't really feel like a sequel. It feels like one of those movies where they just reboot it, and they're like, this is responsible by something. I don't know. But Train to Sound was pretty good. It was fun. Oh, my favorite one is, uh, uh, sorry about that, um, okay, let me think. It's Willy's Wonderland, that movie was pretty, um, FNAF eyes, but, yeah, it was pretty dark. Willy Weasel was really we weird. The animatronics like Ozzy, Cam Chameleon, and Gus the Gorilla, they weren't that memorable, but they were pretty, um, 
cool. The fight scenes were pretty brutal. Imagine they were actual humans. It would have been way brutal. Liv was really annoying. Nicolas Cage was pretty badass. Like, oh my god. This guy knows how to beat up an animatronic. I like him but I didn't like how he appeared in the in the Flash movie as a Superman cameo because that movie sucked looks good but at the same time it kind of sucked but still um Willy's Wonderland looks like a FNAF ripoff it came out during coronavirus season which I hated that season down in the comments put L for COVID-19 that month that year sucked 2020 was the worst year for movies but anyways yeah Willy's had a dark tone. The backslides were pretty FNAF-ish. So instead of kids, they're cannibalism serial killers. Bro. Okay, so I know I'm not a, I'm not a character, but I'm gonna be introduced next year. And it's Fred's bully, okay? So I'm the bully man. I'm bully puss. I'm octopussy. So I have if I cussed, I got confused. My wish, my favorite movie has to be Kill Fred. I'm just joking. My favorite movie is a uh, movie is done. Just kidding. I watched it like the clown Pennywise. That movie was pretty dark. I I sort of got confused if this was in the uh, in the what's up the Conjuring universe or the DC universe because the Conjuring movie appears in the DC in EU. But this movie was really scary. I got jump scared of that scene where the kid falls in the sewers, finds a balloon, and pot in the balloon. Possibly we see Pennywise. That scene, that scene spooked the shit out of me. The whole illusions were pretty cool. They were fine. I did like to see how it was like, you flow too, you flow too. Like, man, Warner Brothers is bad at making DC moves, but they're good, but they're somehow well in making. Other movies. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they're gonna do for the Welcome to Dairy account. I can't wait to see that one. Even though we don't have HBO Max anymore. So we have to make a movie review horror of horror scaries because we have high school and the narrator is really tired. He couldn't come up with one. We wanted to do a haunted house. But we said now we'll do that next year with better equipment. And because well I'm tearing up right here and my feet. And my feet. And my booty. So sorry, we have to make uh, this video. But well, let me know what's your favorite movie, okay? And remember, happy Halloween. Ah!